Okay, so here. This is nothing. And this is the building. It's an exit. This is the next over here, right? Yeah, right. And then over here is the vaporizer. Yeah. Exactly. My name is Ori Carino. I'm an artist from Lower East Side. Um, I guess I met Toyo when I was probably one and a half. mother started dating at that time and eventually became the father of my younger brother Toby, Tsuchiya. And uh, so Toyo raised me up. You know, he was a very active artist during that time, doing his project down here on Rivington Street, Rivington School, No Say No on the 99 Nights um, performance series, and then his, um, which extended kind of into his uh, uh, collaboration and participation with kind of important performances of that time on the Lower East Side and kind of the greater New York. And he exposed me to amazing artists like, you know, David Hammonds or Kwok Meng Ho, who was one of his like really early friends here. Um, Teiching Xie, Karen Black, all the Rivington School guys, Ken Haratsuka. So many, like unbelievable amount of great artists. And also he was, really, really passionate about the um, kind of greater pantheon of art and art history. And so just from day one, as early as I can remember, and I thought it was normal life. I just thought that's how people grew up. They grew up where when their parents got off work or when it got dark outside, then all of these characters would come together and make artwork together. And. Uh, so, just for example, on my fifth birthday, he just put gigantic sheets of paper up in our loft, put markers all around, and just encouraged me and my friends to just graffiti up the whole loft, you know what I mean? Well, the show started because a friend of mine who owned a building, he always liked to support local artists and the local side. And I was thinking about how difficult right now it is for a, an artist to put in a show and to exhibit action, because uh, uh, right now the rent is very expensive, and, uh, and most of the time the artists right now, you have to have uh, like some money behind you, parents could give you some money, just to practice this full-time art, you know? And uh, people spend more time right now working to pay rent to make art. You know, and it's very ridiculous because they call it the capital of the art. Maybe for make money in art, but not for make the art itself. I felt like in New York, I'm like saying, can you, can you just give me a case of beer? I'll like run back upstairs and we can talk another time. <laughs> so now we're a little behind the, uh, you know, so, getting a you know, when I was, like I said, I really thought that this, what was going on in the pages of Toyo's, you know, 99 Nights book, were everyday life. And, uh, you know, I was doing graffiti, and Toyo always encouraged me, even though everyone told me to stop. And uh, he always made sure that I went to the right shows. So when I went to art school, eventually, then I really, and I was going to kind of courses about contemporary art and the art scene and what artists were important and who contributed what. And then I really noticed there was a missing puzzle piece and I kind of saw the light that what Toyo had done with the Rivington School um, and what Toyo had done himself with his photography and his photographic 
installations and his site-specific installations and the way that he kind of worked with performance artists and site-specific artists and um, used, you know, kind of his special form of appropriation to kind of contextualize what they had done and, um, and also kind of made it real in a sense, uh, made it exist um, in a longer timeline. Um, that I decided to really advocate for people to understand Toyo's contribution and to see it. And, uh, and through that motivation, you know, eventually I started to really help Toyo to archive his work and to collate it to some extent and then to take what I had and present it to galleries and critics and art intellectuals and so forth. So on the one year anniversary of the sculpture garden, Toyo painted the entire garden white. And this was his performance and also his art action. And, and this is him painting it and then this is the result of it being painted. And, and this act for me encompasses what Toyo did what Toyo's part was, what role he played for this movement. Because the movement itself was kind of anarchic because there was complete inclusivity. So you could come, you could do whatever you wanted. That was the rule, you know? As long as you didn't come and act like you were better than everybody else or come with some bougie elitist bullshit, then you were welcome. Toyo's role was to say, this is not just anarchy, that this is a art moment that belongs in the great pantheon of art history. And from the, the photos was his act during 99 Nights to show that these were iconoclasts. These were iconic moments. These were an important part of not only Lower East Side history and Lower East Side citizenship, but of art history as a whole. I would like to say yes. Thank you so much to Bill Sun. Thank you for everything. Thank you to anyone who is a good friend to Toyo. And we we will work, we'll always work to make sure that the world receives the gift that he left for all of us fully. And um, we will honor you, Toyo. Thank you. Art is bad, art is living, art is bad, art is junk, art is lost, art is useless, art is a must.